Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more MLB 16, the show, Phillies franchise, and in this episode, the Phillies will be taking on the Cubs here at an overcast game at Citizens Bank Park. It is a day game, as Michael Franco will be going up against Anthony Rizzo, and this is going to be a good game. We got Adam Morgan on the mound. He has been dominating since taking over for Ike Hoff, who's on the DL in the pitching rotation. 4-0 with a 1.45 ERA. Yet only 21 strikeouts in 16 games. But you also have to remember he was in the bullpen. But, um, but yeah, he has been doing very well for us in the rotation. I believe two of those wins have come from the rotation. So, yeah, he is doing very well. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Let's see if we can hit 40 likes on this episode. I know we can do it, so go ahead, hit that like button. And remember, this is a live commentary that will be cut up. But um, for the fan poll question, what I wanted to ask you guys is, now MLB updates its rosters like every week. And, you know, they'll change the attributes of the players and stuff like that. Well, there are some players in this that I just don't think their attributes are fair uh, in the franchise like they are for the daily rosters. So, I wanted to ask you guys if you would be okay if I, you know, manually change their attributes based on what they are when the daily rosters come out. Such as, you know, for Tyler Goodell, his hitting's just a little bit better in the daily rosters. And his arm is a lot better than what it is for me in the Phillies franchise because, you know, these are the OSFM rosters that I use here. So I don't think they touch the players that are already made. They might change some things. I don't know about attributes, though. But, oh, man, I think that hit him in the head. He'll beat it out, though. But, um, and uh, what, what else was I going to say? And, um... I don't think they touch attributes, though. They might slightly, but, you know, I just wanted to know if you guys would be okay if I changed the attributes on some players. Only uh, what they are for the daily roster, so I'm not going to significantly change them. So, I wouldn't do that. Alright, guys, so my Elgato decided to screw with me this episode. So we had some issues. The audio of my voice and the game weren't matching up with the gameplay going on, which uh, led me to having to do um, a voiceover instead of a live commentary, which really sucked. I don't know why it's been doing this, but it seems like it's been only doing it with Philly's franchise. So I don't know if it's the Elgato, the laptop... The Elgato just not being able to keep up with the laptop or the laptop not being able to keep up with the Elgato. Because I do think my laptop is getting close to being on the way out. But the good news is, for those of you who haven't heard about my computer, it did break the day of my birthday. Um, and then when I called iBuyPower, they said it was most likely the motherboard. They said they would fix it for me. All I had to do was pay for the uh, shipping and handling. So I was like, alright, that's worth a uh, worth a shot. So... I did get an email from them, I believe yesterday it was, and they said that it should be shipped out in five to seven days, which is good. So I should be getting it by next week, I hope. I hope it's all fixed. I hope it's all said and done. I can use it with no more problems, at least not for another three to five years. That's my goal is to actually be able to keep that computer for a long time because I did pay, you know, about $1,000 for it. But, um... So better last me a good amount of time. But um, but yeah, this was a pretty short franchise episode, as you guys can see. Only eight minutes. There wasn't a lot of excitement this game. Not a whole lot of offense, but the pitching, even the pitching, I mean, not many strikeouts for Morgan this game, but uh, I'm not going to spoil too much. But this was a nice hit by Morgan, but an even better catch by Solaire out there in left field. But yeah, guys, I mean, I apologize for this not being able to be a uh, live commentary because I really wanted it to be, but unfortunately it couldn't be. So I do apologize for that. But um, still, still got the gameplay, still got you know everything that would have been in here, even if I did have the live commentary going. But um, but yeah. So instead, I'm just talking to you guys, doing a voiceover. But this was a good game. I did have another game, but the Elgato freaked out with it, and I was like, I guess I'll just make a new one. Same thing happened, so I gave up, and I was like, I guess I'll just do voiceover. But I haven't really been having this issue with my... Actually, I don't think I've been having it at all with the other computer. 
so I have no clue what the problem is, but um, I think it just might be my laptop. I don't know if the Elgato software is out of date. Usually it tells you when you need to update it, but um, yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is. I don't know what the problem is because I know I do have to get the new Elgato. I don't have the 60 frame one. I've been using the 30 frame one, but we got lucky there that uh, there was a bad throw t for that runner to score. So Morgan, I guess, got himself an RBI there. I'm sure he got credit for it, but Herrera is not going to be able to uh, help out any much. So as you can see there, there's that little bit of lag. That's the Elgato doing that. So yeah, it really sucked. But the reason why I'm not showing too much on the Cubs side is because, well, they didn't they didn't really get to do too much this game. Morgan was really, really effective this game. I was really surprised with how well he did. But almost a home run for Michael Franco, almost a two-run shot. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it was still a great game. I uh, had a lot of fun with this one. And, uh, and, again, there's that lag again from the Elgato. But I think that was the only time it did it uh, that I have in this video. But uh, already almost over this episode. It was a very short one, but I, I'm sure you guys don't have a problem with that being the case. But, um, oh, nope, one more. I lied. But, um, what was I saying? But yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to just do a franchise episode like every month in game, not every month, uh, although I have been doing it every month in real life. I have to upload these much more. Uh, frequently I haven't been and that's my fault so I apologize for that just been NHL I've been liking doing the MLB 16 the show challenges definitely go check them out if you haven't um, I've been doing things like um, let's see I did can the worst double A team beat the best MLB team and I did it record wise not by overall because I don't know how to check that now I don't think you can do that in the new show so um, and then I also did can I win a game using only pictures and that uh, video actually got a lot of uh, hits on it which surprised me but um, it's actually the most viewed video on my channel and I only uploaded it like two months ago so I was surprised with that but it was definitely a fun video to make and I also did a Madison Bumgarner in the Home Run Derby and I think I have no that's it but I do have an NHL challenge where I did if a Great Britain who's the worst team in the game can beat Canada which is the best team but it was uh, not a game it was a uh, shootout but this one would be hit to all tear, and that would end the game. So Morgan did end up getting the complete game shutout. Only four strikeouts, though, under his belt this game. So it wasn't a strikeout game, but he definitely had the ground ball working and the pop-up. So he did a very good job. Only allowed four hits for the Cubs, who are a decent team. And De La Rosa even had himself a good game. Only gave up two runs. One of them was earned, but... um. But yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. I apologize for the Elgato issues. I would have loved to still have done a live commentary. So the video was still a little quiet since I had to do voiceover. But I was thinking about adding music, but I just don't have time because I want to get this video out today. And I got a lot of stuff to do today. But, um, but I hope you guys are okay with that. But that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode as always. Peace.